And here's another application problem that involves percents. It says a metal bar weighs 8.15 ounces. If 93% of the bar is silver, how many ounces of silver are in the bar? So we know the total here, right? This is the total weight of the bar, right? And then uh, we know 93% of it's silver, and they want to know how much of that is silver, okay? So remember, we're working in this formula of amount equals percent times base, right? And remember, the way we identify the base is what we're going to take a percentage of. Well, you're going to take a percentage of the total to figure out how much silver is in the bar. So we definitely know that 8.15 is our base. And of course, 93% is the percent, so we would write its decimal form. And of course, the amount of silver is what we're interested in. So that would be our unknown. Okay, so we just set it up like that. Um, so that would be kind of using that percent equation to help you get at this. The other way is to again write out a sentence uh, like we did in the last video where we say um, what are we interested in? We're interested in what is 93 percent of 8.15 and if you did that you would realize okay what that means x is means equals 93 percent is 0.93 and of means times. Right, so either way we get at the same thing. So this time there's no uh, isolating of x that we need to do because x is already isolated. We just need to perform the multiplication. So I have 8.15 times 0 0.93. So 3 times 5 is 15. Carry the 1. We get 4, 24. And then 9 times 5 is 45. Carry the 4, 9 times 1 plus 4 is 13, and 8 times 9 is 72 plus 1 is 73. So add those up, we get a 5, we get a 9, 7, a 5, a 7, and there's a total of 4 place values to the right of the decimal point above, so we go back 1, 2, 3, 4. So our answer here is x equals 7.5795 but remember this is a practical problem so it needs a label on it so it's 7.5795 ounces of silver.